Hey guys, welcome back to Danganronpa. So last time Kyoko decided to go missing. And I hope she's okay. So now, I have to give gifts to people. Thing is, I can't remember the last time I went and actually bought gifts. So I have nothing. So I gotta stop by the school store really fast. So, who's my first victim? Maybe I should try to get to know Toko a bit more. Hi! There she is. With the plants, where she belongs. Toko! When are we ever going to get out of here? I don't have much to look forward to if I did get out. Let's go spend time with Toko. What, more pity? Aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity? I'm gonna spend some time with Toko. And I'd like to give her a present. Now. What would she like? Maybe she would like this. You're giving this to me? Don't think it makes me happy or whatever. It's more annoying than anything. Baka. I thought Toko totally hated me. But it's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking. Hey, Toko? What, problem? you have a question? You have a question for your classmate? Huh? Is she happy? So I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> I just write. I'm serialized, so I'm always busy. And when I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not an idiot like you. Damn it, I just had to go open my big mouth again. You must hate me for sure now. No, it didn't really bother me. But I can't believe you actually write novels. And that other people actually in the world read them. So, how do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience, or...? Are you stupid? What? I told you, right? I write, write, write no romance novels. How would you use my real life experiences for that? It's all for my imagination, it's just delusions. Delusions let you fall in love as much as you want, even if you never do in real life. Or are you saying you can't write romance unless you already have a lot of experience? No, not at all. It's okay, I'm used to people making fun of me. But... Someday I'll show though. I'll get pretty someday and show them all. Boiling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. But hey, my skill points went up, so that's a thing. Who do I go harass now? Now I'm getting chills. I think I might be getting sick. Oh, that's not good. That's not good, Makoto. You know, let's, let's check on Hina. That, that sounds like a good idea. A good use of my time. Hina. It's Mina. Oh, hold on. The Lovely Ladies of Earth, August edition. Next gen lotion play. Oh my. A person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah. That's a quote from a famous baseball player, Kenji Jojima. Yeah, totally. I think what it means is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. Well, you can probably be very strong. Okay, let's go to the pool. Swim time! But, uh, don't stare, okay? I don't actually have a swimsuit, just a shirt. And when it gets wet, it's kind of embarrassing. Although I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come. I went swimming with Hina, who seemed kind of embarrassed, because she's starting to like me. As she should. Now, what do I... What can I give this person? Uh, I don't really have any... What's this? Hold on. This might be good. You got it. Ah, yes, the queen accepts this royal tribute. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks, Makoto. Uh, so hungry. Please. Makoto, help me. I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do? Uh, I need food. Anything. I don't care if it's in a stack of paper. I need food. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? Just a second. I can't. That's my secret robin. For emergencies only. 
gorging on something with that many calories, I'll get fat in no what time. So even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is a th an athlete. Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Mm. Like ramen. How is that a snack? You got it all wrong. Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Shoyo, without a doubt. You got it. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and all, so... I'm a portastic tongkotsu girl through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> the key element of any tonkatsu ramen is the butter and extra fat. So you're okay with all that oil? Oh. I'm talking about just maybe even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. What is this? Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't you? What, are you afraid? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? Just a second. Shut up. Get out of my way. I'm going to show you what a real man <laughs> looks like. Are you going to stand in my way and suffer the fist-based consequences? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Okay. Then don't. If I don't do this now, what am I ever going to get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off a, a dangerous clip toward the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. You just unlocked the extra uh, skill Extraordinary Focus. Okay, I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. What? Hina! Holy fuck! Ugh, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it, I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped down on my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. What's going on with you, Makoto? I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... Oh no, he's sick. I was restless. God. Yeah. At some point I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice. That's so familiar. Ah, it's... I understand. It's... me. I... understand. What? I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... To stay here. What? Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. What? What is going... What? Oh. My dream just now... What? So strange. Huh? What the... <gasps> Makoto? <sighs> oh my god, Makoto. Oh wait, was that another dream? Yoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? This is freaky. What? What just happened? I, I was attacked, then I wasn't, then Kyoko's standing in front of me. Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. I agree with you, Monokuma.
Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet. No, I'm not going to greet another beautiful day. Get. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Uh, I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy, it all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto the fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I, I heard a voice I didn't really understand, and then... All of a sudden I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. The same person who had attacked me before. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with a fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? You can check the desk drawer. I open the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, that it all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell's going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall and tell everybody. That's a good idea. Let's go, Makoto. Onward. But that was a giant pipe dream, Makoto. Hey, Makoto. Hi, Hina. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure is, the sky, the sky is blue. Hey, Hina. Where's everybody else? Um... You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know... <laughs> I mean, now that that actually happened, I mean, nobody here would want you, want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel so good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you guys, why did you even come to get me? Did something happen? Hmm. Uh, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, then they can tell you all about it. So is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So hold on. Later on, we learned that nobody was allowed to leave the gym on their own. They had to go out in pairs. So then why did they let Hina go alone to get breakfast? So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? That's... Weird. But rather than walking there, I'm going to teleport. Because I can. You know, I just realized I could have teleported the entire way into the gym. But I didn't. So, you know, that's a thing. So wait, why would they be in the gym? Ah, oh, there he is. This is worse oh, than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> You made us stay up all night while you slept like a little baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. And then I noticed. They'd formed a circle around something. 
As soon as I saw what that something was... What the? Before I could even catch myself, I cried out. Spread out in front of them was the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. How did you guys even... What? Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even faced. Hmm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? It looks like it's been professionally disassembled. How's that possible? Turning about something like that isn't dangerous? Yakia, what's going on here? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? What? Idiot, if you haven't been sleeping in, you'd already know what was going on. Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle it. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Byakuya found this little fellow lying around, and we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I want to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. Man, I found him here, just like normal. However... <laughs> When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma they laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the assembly process. <laughs> it was Master Stroke of Genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote-controlled toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that, anyway? But besides that, I'm wondering... That... But why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find anything because we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down... So in other words... Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? They were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Could it be? Or maybe that's sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the Mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Hmm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey, guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? That's a bomb. Huh? A bomb. There's one assault inside every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A bomb? Super bad, we need to get rid of it. Uh, um, Roger that. Hmm. It appears that bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. <laughs> motion sensor for serious. I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Eat ramen. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. <laughs> You're not so fine. You're all ha ha ha. Oh, I probably should have mentioned. The motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on, the century just started. Don't call don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hang on to it, it's not gonna do us any good. Uh, um, oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. You put it right next to us. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because of something that happened to the Mastermind they weren't expecting? But what could that have been, when I thought about it? I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't huss. Don't you, didn't you hear a word we just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's a no. What are you, some kind of dead brain dead farm animal? Sorry. Hmm. We are saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive, offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? Well, that'd be true if Sakura hadn't already broken into it. But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else. But we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away? Or are you going to fight? 
You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. All right, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, Master, to all the ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster room on the fourth floor of the school. You know, I'm glad you all waited for me to do this. Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So, what are you gonna do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tell this, tear this door off its hinges. Huh? Wait, but the rules say... Hmm. We've seen the Mastermind wasn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But like Makoto said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were in there... So, in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far, we can't back down now. We've agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. I mean... For serious? For real? What the heck? We don't have any choice, we're desperate. Okay. Let's do it, let's rip this door down. Actually... Okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh, so oh yeah, the pickaxe. See. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable. By myself? Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Unacceptable! What that Toko ran off, as loud as a herd of rabbit elephants. Hey. Seriously though, are we just gonna knock this door down? Hmm. No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Wise words. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubbers... Flubs... No. I'm full, totally flab bag... Flap staff... Flap sauce? Froze, what? where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill, where'd you come from? You called for me and so I appeared. Hello, hello! It's a wonderiferous, murderiferous fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile and a really long tongue. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile, the pickaxe. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your exec executive level barbs. Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. There's only one reason why she would have forgotten it. Oh no. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switched. Not possible. This is a level of useless I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. Hmm. Yep, I now we just need to grab the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? <sighs> Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. You've gotta be kidding! I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What did you find? <laughs> Ca... or... Pus? You oh, corpse! Me. I knew it! There's a corpse in the garden. Yep. I found a corpse in the garden! What? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay. Please not, Kyoko. Please not, Kyoko. I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Oh. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife. Buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the... Are they really dead? For sure, but... Who is it? 